Okay, so basic fundamental of this project is to have a five-fold power supply over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a transformer mm -hmm. for diodes forming the bridge mm -hmm. output for filtering given to a capacitor. Mm -hmm. uh, it's generally 606 transformer. We want five-fold. So passing it through 7805 IC mm -hmm. that is going to regulate this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And finally, I'll be getting 5 volt power supply. This 5 volt power supply is given to all the four boards, oh. as well as the ground supply is given to all the boards. The ground of transformer is also shorted to the ground of Arduino microcontroller. This is called Arduino Duemino Loba. Okay. So ground is shorted with <coughs> this thing. Now. The fundamental principle is this is a traffic light control. So the traffic light should keep on switching 1, 2, 3, 4 under normal traffic. We have given 5 uh, seconds time interval over here. In that time interval, it should be keep switching. So the principle of this switching is that there are two LEDs, green and red, red LED. Okay. Red LED is uh, every LED is being connected with a transistor. So LED's anode is directly given with plus 5 volt. Cathode is given to, this is NPN transistor, BC548. Cathode is given to NPN transistor through a 100 ohm resistor for limiting the current. The <coughs> pin number 1 of 548 and cathode is connected. Pin number 2 of 548 that is base of the transistor is connected with a 100 ohm register and this is being connected with Arduino. And the uh, emitter is connected with the ground. So whenever Arduino triggers one, each of this is connected to eight digital pins of Arduino. These are Arduino's digital pins. Okay, Arduino's digital pins are pin number 0 to 30. So, Whenever a particular digital pin switches on, this will trigger the transistor. Tram the LED is then going to be grounded through the transistor. Okay. So throughout uh, through our Arduino code, what I have tried to what we have tried to do is we have tried to you know switch it in such a fashion that first all the three reds will be on and green of one particular section will be on. Then green of another section will be on. So whichever section green is on, that red LED will be switched off. Now here we have something called IR receiver. Okay, this IR receiver is a universal receiver. It can receive any from any remote control. Okay, now we assume that a ambul an ambulance should be given with an IR code when it approaches near a, uh, a station. That station should detect that ambulance is there. When it crosses out, I mean when it detects the green LED of that section should be or the green light should be on so that ambulance can pass out. Once the ambulance has passed out, it should uh, not be able to detect any IR signal. So when there were IR, si IR signal previously and no IR signal right now, it immediately switches to the normal mode. Now this vehicle has been mounted with a receiver. So when you bring it closer to this IR receiver, this is going to when you bring closer to the receiver, it should be able to detect. Once it detects, once it moves out immediately it switches to the normal mode. Okay. Then once the normal mode is turned, it continues its operation. This also is given with another example which is called pollution sensor. So we have made a circuit, a simple circuit for pollution. This is basically a switch. So whenever there is a collision, okay, this light will be glowing. We have LDR sensor over here. LDRs are adjusted in such a manner that no light affects his uh, signal. So, by chance, suppose this vehicle was going inside any area and you know, collision occurs. So, if it was going somewhere, 
and collision occurs. You can see that the green LED will be glowing, which will be glowing this LDR value. So the LDR will be triggering and that is how basically we will be coming to know that there is an accident. Okay, And if the accident is minor, it's going to be switched on for a smaller period of time that will be triggered off and if there is a large collision with a vehicle, so see it will be turned on. So in the central side, in the receiver, they would be coming to know that the vehicle has met the accident. So it is in the, this way. Now, <coughs> even when there is an accident, so whenever we try to switch to this mode, we should try to do it in such a fashion that at a time when this is not near. So, So when it moves out, so using a Blu-ray. So the principle is, this is the vehicle. So whenever the vehicle meets collision, so what exactly happens is the light glows. When the light glows, it falls on the LDR surface. When it falls on the LDR surface, as you can see its resistance will be changed which can be tracked by the microcontroller. We have this vehicle which is a model for collision. What we have over here is a collision switch. Okay, Whenever it gets uh, hit hard, the switch gets activated. We give it a supply through a 9 volt power supply. So whenever this, uh, uh, you know, whenever there is a uh, collision or it is switching hard under that situation, the light glows. It works in this way. So whenever it moves, there is a light glows. Now, coming back to our main vehicle, which is an ambulance vehicle that we are using. Basically, the detection of the ambulance is given with the IR technology. What IR technology does is, IR has a protocol which transmits uh, data over specific values say for instance all the remote control works with ir protocol okay the advantage uh, with ir is that it travels longer distance and it is free range 